thank you so much for listening for to the Gamer Show, episode five. This is part one of a two-part special, which is a special two-hour event if you watch them back to back. This is where we talk about our favorite games of the decade. So if you wish to listen to part two, be sure to tune in next week for part two of the podcast. Until then, enjoy this podcast. Hey, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Gamer Show, episode five. I'm Charlie, and I'm here with both Mitch and Pat. Hello, everybody. Hey, guys. What's going on? Welcome to a super special episode of The Gamer Show, where we're talking about the latest in gaming news. Well, this week, we're talking about the past uh, gaming news, I guess. We're doing a special episode where we're talking about all the stories that we happened to have... Uh, to have happened, geez, I can't get my words out, have happened in the last decade, and we're talking about our favourite games of the decade as well. But before we begin, we're going to do what we normally do, and uh, yeah, what have you guys been playing this week? Pat, you can go first, you're you're the guest here, buddy. Oh, oh stop it, you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what have I been playing? Actually, um, we got all the deals going at Steam, I've managed to pick up a bunch of stuff that's it was like $8. I've actually, me and Mitch were actually just playing not too long ago before we started, but I've started playing the old Dawn of War, um, going through the campaigns and we were playing some multiplayer, which is good, but um, yeah, trying to grind out a bit of Destiny 2 as well, um, this season, current season, and um, I've also been playing a bit of Dead by Daylight, which is which is a good kind of pretty chill game that also makes you mad, but that's okay. Pretty chill, but makes you mad. Yeah. I'm not sure that's the definition of chill, bud. People who've played the game know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Yeah. Is it chill or is it <laughs> or angry? God, this is fun, but stuff you all. No. Yeah, no, I respect that. It is a fun game, but it is uh, annoying at the same time. <laughs> what about you, Mitch? What have I been playing? Um, well, I've been jamming uh, Call of Duty, um, Cold War, uh, playing the zombies uh, maps. Uh, did that for our most recent stream on Saturday, was it? Saturday? Yeah? Yes. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I've lost count of my days. Um, Everything's blurring into one. Yeah. That Christmas uh, obviously. Time. Oh, yeah. Bloody oath. Uh, I also played... Um, Dawn of War 40k with Pat mere minutes ago. Um, and that was quite fun to get back into. I haven't played that in quite a long while. Um, and he's still too scared to verse me. Um, <laughs> which is pretty typical. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. I, I don't like playing RTSs um, against people. I've just... I don't know. I, lo- I, I love playing RTSs slow. And like you just build up a big massive army and you just go through and just roll like the enemy and stuff like that but i can't do that with against people because they usually come knocking before i get a chance to set up no well that's that's a very silly strategy but anyway (laughs) um that's actually probably about it i've literally just been playing zombies uh a lot and nothing else i've stopped playing cyberpunk at the moment uh because i jammed it so hard i need a break um so yeah, plus, you know, with Christmas and New Year's and everything happening, I've just been doing stuff around the house with the family, so I haven't actually been gaming all too much, to be fair. Yeah. How about you, Charlie? I have been playing a bit of Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops Cold War. And I, I, uh, hey, <laughs> I was playing the other night and I was doing quite well. 1v1, 1v1 he me gets so and out again. He I'm gets so back. salty. <laughs> Um, I've been actually playing a bit of Battlefield 3 actually I played Battlefield 3 last night as well for a bit Um, the servers working yeah actually surprisingly there's been a resurgence of people on Battlefield 3 so I'm honestly not surprised such a good game well Amazon gave it out for free last week so that probably helped (laughs) yes (laughs) 100% so yeah I've been jamming that for a bit and then I've been playing a bit of um Oh, a bit of Spider-Man uh, remastered as well on PS5. Oh. Ew. Not Miles. I finished Miles already. Ooh. So 
So I thought I'd play it at 60 frames per second and see if the, the, if whether or not it makes a big difference or not. Yeah, I actually, uh, um, um, I, I was reading uh, a little bit back of them comparing Miles to um, The Amazing Spider-Man when it first came out and like how it's, like how Miles like underperformed compared to the original. And I was like, well, I think, and the first thing I thought of was like, oh, but that, that, fir- that was the first Spider-Man game in how long? You know what I mean? Like the, the full open world. And then like Miles is an add on to that. And they were, I don't know, they're just comparing it. And I was like, oh, you can't really compare it. You yeah. Well, I mean? that's the thing too. Like it's a bit different. Like it's, it's a, Miles Morales and the, Marvel Spider Man was the first Spider Man game we've had in a while that's actually been decent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Exactly. But um Yeah, I was actually watching um Stanley's uh Stanley talked about when he wrote Spider Man, made up the character. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. It was it was pretty awesome. He he talked like he was given the job of making a new superhero and uh he sat down and he was trying to think, you know what could I do? And he saw a fly on the wall and he's like, oh, wouldn't that be cool? A, a superhero that could climb walls. And then, you know, he started playing around with names and went, fly man, no. You know, um, moth man, no. You know, he's like, um, dragonfly man, no. And then he's like, oh, spider man. Well, that sounds pretty cool. And then, you know, he developed the character into, you know, being a teenager and having personal problems just like everybody else in the world. And he took that to his... Um, to his publisher and his publisher went, that's the worst idea I've ever heard. Um, (laughs) But it was stuck in his head. So he wanted to put it out there. So they were running the last copy of um, a comic. So it was the last one. It was never going to get released again. So he just, and because nobody cares what happens in the last, last comic of a, of a series that they didn't really care. So he threw Spider-Man in there. Um, And, a month later when all the sales reports come in, his uh, producer ran into his office and was like, do you remember our favourite superhero Spider-Man? Um, and was like, well, we need you to do a full comic series on him. <laughs> um, but, yeah, the, the point of his story was just to be like, if you know something in your heart is good and um, and is something that you really have to do and should do, don't let people stop you from doing it was his point of that story. And the reason he told that story was he went ahead and did it anyway. And it was the right thing to do. And is the reason why Spider-Man got its own comic and, you know, movies and games and everything that it has now. Yeah. It became like the, such the powerhouse that it is. Yep. First, first, re- first introduced to the world at the end of another comics run. Yeah. Are you, um, are you stalking me? Because I'm pretty sure I only just watched that video like the other day, like like yesterday or something like that. Oh. Really? Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. talking like at the uh, yeah. yeah same. I watched it. Yeah, I watched it a couple of days ago. It was at a. He was doing it at a conference. Yeah, uh, yeah, university yeah. University or something. I think. Yeah. No. It's it's it, it's crazy. But yeah. Um. It's it's crazy how that came all about and how every everyone just jumped on it and Spider Man's probably the most famous you know, character, like comic disgusting. book character. You know what I mean? No, nope. hey, I don't is? accept that. Tell me. Oh, the Hulk. Get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Get, get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, okay, so you, Superman top. would probably be pretty up there. Like nah, Superman's Batman's like, probably above Superman in terms of DC. I'd say Batman's probably the most famous in DC. Spider-Man is uh, Marvel. Could have, would have, but uh, Superman has the credit of being the first ever superhero. So It does. You know what? You know what? Spider Man still sucks. <laughs> beat Batman. Have you seen the death battle? It's been a fucking no, wreck. Everybody no, beats I just, Batman. I just, I just don't like Spider Man. I just sucks. don't. Never have. You know this. <laughs> oh. But I'm not. I'm not much into superheroes. You know what I mean? Like, I, like, I don't know. Loser. I need like the the protagonist. Need them. You know, like villains or like you know those middle ground characters, people like, you know, um, Wade Wilson and stuff like that. They're, they're the kind of people, they're like De- middle grounders. Deadpool. They're not, 
Yeah. Wait, did, you took home Deadpool? <laughs> That's the yeah. most uh, All right, so you don't, upper so class you don't like, ever. You don't like the but he's, but he's not. No, but I'm just saying, I don't like superheroes. I like middle grounders. He's not a superhero. He's not all good and everything like that. You like anti-heroes is what you're trying to say. (laughs) And and the Hulk's the same. He's an anti-hero. Not by choice. He's more of a hero than anti-hero, though. No. No, he's just some punts that did something wrong in a lab and got himself slapped with the Hulk and (laughs) the Hulk's a fucking monster who just goes around smashing shit and sometimes is like, yeah, all right, I'll fight for you. It's true. He's more of a hero, more than anything else. No, nah, I disagree. He he's just like, it's. Oh, it's I'll, I'll help you. Let's not get into that. Okay, <laughs> this, that's a whole different podcast. Let's, let's, <laughs> just, let's get back on to what the we actually su- decided <laughs> to talk about. Welcome podcast. to the superhero podcast, where we've gone off track again. We're like last week, we started anymore. talking about. <laughs> We started talking about Mandalorian last week. <laughs> oh, mate, we had a full full Star Wars jam at the end of the last podcast. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, back to the game. Games on the decade. <laughs> I'm so good at getting us off track. It's oh, you're terrible at it. I think <laughs> oh, it's we all kind I've, of segued that down into that yeah. level, but yeah, I'm, I'm quite stop trying getting, to segue us away. And <laughs> again, okay, quite, we don't quite care. Good at we got Charlie. There. Quite good at getting Charlie rolled up and into a debate about uh, certain things, I think. We should just turn this into the pop culture debate yeah. podcast. The argument Can't show. Really. I'm with the show. <laughs> what are we talking about this week, Charlie? Uh, now that I've got the floor again, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're talking about games of the decade, so we're going to talk about just the games we happen to remember because... Uh, Come to the end of 2020, uh, it's the end of a whole decade. Can you believe it's been mm. a whole decade of gaming already? Like yeah. We're getting old. Uh, We're getting forgetful. Yeah. So talking about uh, 2010, uh, up to 2020. So 2010 is like kind of getting close to the end cycle of PS3 and Xbox 360 kind of console generation and uh, the dawn of PS4 and Xbox One. And then, uh, yeah, ending it with the generation of PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. Uh, so we're going to talk about the good, the bad things that happened over the, the last decade and uh, the fond of gaming memories we've had over the last decade. Don't forget about game consoles that came out like the Switch and things like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Switch, the cataclysmic failure of the Wii U, uh, <laughs> 2DS, 3DS. Um the Wii. Other companies that oh. tried to get into the gaming space. Well, the Wii started stories. off strong. They went down yeah. with the Wii U, though. Is that when it became like that little? Yeah. Block? <laughs> Where you were like, it was like a like I don't know. I don't even know how to explain, explain it. It was like it was what like the a Switch tablet. Now. Then, yeah, and, yeah. It was like a yeah. tablet, and everyone thought it was just an add-on for the original Wii. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but they did turn that around. Was... Switch. The Switch is good. It is. It's 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 it it's is. cool. But it's yeah. okay. <laughs> okay. I think it's a great <laughs> console, but sure, what everybody. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a great. It is a great handheld gaming console. Yeah. It is where Game Boys and everything like that should have gone. <clears throat> like it is. Well, it, it, it is, is where they went. <laughs> well, that I know, but exactly like you know what I mean. <laughs> earlier, because they had they had. Um, well, what did they have? They had the original Pockets. Uh, then they had that weird-looking one, which I actually loved. The Advanced. That was great. Yeah. Game Boy Light and Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance SP. Yep. Mm. Remember when PlayStation got into it? What was that? Oh, PlayStation Vita, yeah. PlayStation Portable. Vita? Yeah. Yeah, those PSP, were... PlayStation Portable. That always looked yeah. cool. I never got one, but... I, I had one, going. but the problem, it didn't have games for very long. Yeah. Was that the PSP? Yeah. Or the... Yeah, yeah, it didn't have games for very long. Like, a, it was out for, like, a year or two, and there were games, and then it just died. They just stopped. Yeah. And then they did the same with the Vita, and they were like, you can use it with your PS4 to a remote play, and you can do all this really cool stuff. Oh, yeah, and then and games, just, were, yeah, and games then, were like, oh, even if your friends aren't at their computers or at their PlayStations, they can play with you using the Vita, and you're like, this is so cool, they can fly the drones and spot enemies for us, and none of that worked. <laughs> And then, they, yeah, that the, happened. then Sony just slowly stopped making games for it because originally they were like, look, we have Call of Duty on the Vita. We have Killzone. We have Uncharted. 
and yeah, Jack yeah. and Daxter and all that. And then uh, all of a sudden, after a couple of years later, they're like, yeah, um, we've got nothing for it now. And they just let it slowly die. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And they had that sad. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale game that was like a Super Smash Bros. knockoff. That was on, I had that on PlayStation 3. That was yeah, pretty it was fun. On, that was actually, yeah, I actually thought that was that actually was, kind that of was, fun. That was, that was, that was fun. It originally, came out on, it originally came out on Vita and then they brought it out to, to PS3. Yeah, that, that for me was fun. That was a I good agree. game. I didn't mind that. Hmm. Oh, well. Yeah. So <laughs> which way should we start? Should we start from the newest or start from the oldest? I think we'll start from the oldest and make our way up to now. Okay, that sounds good to me. This yeah. makes it more interesting. So, uh, yeah, 2010. What's your fondest gaming memory of 2010? Oh, what have we got? All games, <laughs> all games well, that you can remember. Well, you've got games like Civ Five came out, uh, Black Ops came out, New Vegas, Fallout New Vegas came out, uh, Mass Effect 2. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, Mass Effect 2 was pretty good. I yeah. remember jamming that for a Minecraft ages. came out. I thought it came out in 2009. Actually, I think StarCraft 2 came out in 2010. It did. Well. StarCraft 2, Red Dead Redemption. That was an amazing game. I never played the Red Dems. Oh, missing the, out. The um, first one was fantastic. I didn't really get into number two as much as I thought it would. No, number two I didn't get into as much. I liked number, because number one had an expansion as well, didn't it? Yeah, I did the Mexico. That, that DLC is amazing. Yep. Yeah, you get, yeah, that you get was to ride the horses sweet. of the apocalypse. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> yeah, Red Dead, Red Dead, um, from 2010 was definitely a great game for the year. Starcraft Two was amazing as well. If you like RTSs, yeah. Um, then you had what uh, Super Mario Galaxy Two came out as well. I think. Oh uh, yeah, I love that game. I finished it. I remember just firing up the Wii and just playing that all weekend, just nonstop. Oh. As far as sports games go, NBA 2K11 came out. Yeah, you yeah, can okay. that <laughs> <laughs> I'm not much of a sports gamer, but for people listening, they might remember it and love it. You know, but, you know what else came out that I really love playing? Sesame Street Cookies Counting Carnival. It's oh so good. Oh, my God. What the hell is <laughs> I'm that? Just kidding. I don't even know. Even he can, he can keep that one. <laughs> yeah, so, but then, um, Scott Program vs. The World, the game, came out. That was pretty good. There was a game? Recently, yeah, there's a game. It's pretty good. Jesus. And it's a, it's like a 2D beat-em-up side-scroller uh, that was based on the movie, and it was actually really good. It's just recently got a remaster, actually. I think it's coming out on the Switch. Oh, right. No joke. Oh. God of War 3. Oh, yeah. Was that God 2010? of War 3 was amazing. That's, two, that's yeah, 2010. Was, yeah. God of War 3 was amazing. Yeah, yeah, no, that was a great game. I, there was I a think, lot of good games in 2010. I think I, um, I think I got God of War 3 to play. And then I went back and played the others because it was so good. I yes, Ghost of Sparta also yeah. came out too. Uh, the, um, oh, yeah, Ghost God of War, Ghost of Sparta. Wasn't, oh, I haven't yeah, played that. That wasn't as good though, in my opinion. In my opinion. Your <laughs> Rock well. Band 3 came out in 2010. Rock- oh, was that the it one where you were... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Rock Band was... I, I, you know, I haven't done... I, I'll have to check. I think I've got like a little drum kit and stuff in the house somewhere with like... um. And the guitars and stuff. I'll have to crack that out. Let me see if my Xbox 360. Did you hear it too? Did you hear it too? Also came out in 2010. No oh, shit. I love that game. I played the shit out of that game. <laughs> I think for me, it'd have to be for that year. It'd be Fallout New Vegas, Minecraft, Dead Red, obviously Red Dead. Sorry. And StarCraft 2, because I love StarCraft 2. StarCraft 2 is a fucking amazing oh, I should remember that game. Do you guys remember Need for Speed World? Yes, no. I do. Yeah. They all just blurred together. Well, it's like an me. online racer game. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it was an online racer game. If it's not Underground, it, I don't want to hear about it. Oh, I love Underground. <laughs> I, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit also came out, the, the remake, which recently just got a remaster, actually. Nice. There's a game that um, I think we must have gotten with the Xbox One. I want a Need for Speed game, and um, the wife was playing it, and I, we realized she was getting chased, and she had to stop, like by the cops. She had to like um, like pause for a sec to do something. Except it, like the menu came up, but it didn't stop the game, and the car just like smashed into her. And she's like, "What the hell?" He realized that you can't pause it, even though she's playing single player. It was really weird. I don't know, but yeah, right. man, it made me laugh. 
because she just got like t-boned by like three cop cars because <laughs> she's just stopped <laughs> um i'd you have to what? say god of war god of war 3 but i think starcraft 2 was probably that that's probably my pick of the year I didn't realize God of War 3 would be high up there for me too. Yeah. But another one that came out that year that was super anticipated was Halo Reach. Oh! Oh. Reach? How could I forget Reach? Actually, you know what? I hated Reach when it first came out. Get out of here. I loved it until until the end, and in the end I thought it was shit. Oh, yes. I, I disliked alert, Reach because I was so enjoyable. <laughs> I enjoyed the ha- the other Halo games more than Reach, so I didn't find Reach that great. But I still do jam it. I, do I like loved it. Reach. Um, Reach I, was great. I, I'd, I'd actually have to say I probably played Red Dead Redemption and StarCraft 2 the most. Yeah. See, I didn't get I didn't actually get StarCraft 2 until like a couple years later because I don't even think I had internet in 2010. So, I couldn't. So, we were Assassin's Creed Brotherhood came out. Yeah, the Assassin's Creed like Brotherhood. Brotherhood. Brotherhood yeah. was good. I think. And then we also had um, oh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. That was pretty good. Um, we also had Bioshock <laughs> Two come out as well. Yeah. I never played the Bioshocks. Everyone raved about them, but I, I, I don't know. I just never. Fantastic games, did it. though. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's 2010 in a nutshell. We should yeah. probably move on to the next year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 2011. 2011. So, so we're jumping forward to 2011. Should we do like a Wayne's World to kind of. <laughs> 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 Is that even Wayne's what World? What did we have in 2011? We had Batman Arkham City. Good game. Yeah, um, good game. We had Wait, probably that- the best game released in that year. Is that the third which one? Which was. No. That's the second. That's the second. Yeah. Well, right what, what year did Arkham Asylum come out then? That, oh, it must have been probably. T- must have been like two thousand nine or something. Somebody Google it. Anyway, let's not get into that. Um, probably the best game for that year was The Dark Souls. It was released in two thousand nine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Portal Two. The best game for oh, Portal Two. Uh, Marvel mine, vs. Mine Capcom mine. Three. Mine would have been Battlefield 3 that came out that year. I yeah, played the fair. shit out of that game. Oh, Skyrim came out that year. Uncharted 3. Oh, yeah. Ew, Uncharted. You can keep that. What did you say? Skyrim? Yeah, Skyrim came out in 2011. Skyrim sucks. <laughs> <laughs> still still being bought. I know. Console. It's crazy. The following <laughs> it has is actually it's amazing. Crazy. It's yeah, kind of like it's... nine years later and it's still on every platform. Just modding the shit out of it. <laughs> Just um, Thomas the Tank Engine. Did you know that it's even even playable by um, Amazon Alexa? What? Why? Yes. <laughs> I don't At know. At this People point, they're just, just doing it, random dude. shit. <laughs> like the- <laughs> it's just like, can we? I don't know. Somebody's going to buy it. I, d- I guarantee you someone's going to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> we said that was also the year of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So. Oh, oh, yeah. That was that's a good game. That was a good game. Dead Space 2. True. Ooh. Saints Row 3 as well. Dead Island. The first Dead Island. First um, Dead Island. Never played it. Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkachi. Ooh. I loved playing the Dragon Ball Z games on the Wii. Like, doing the movements and stuff with the little remotes. Oh, so fun. Made me feel a part oh, of it. Oh, Fear 3 that year. Oh, I love Fear 3. Well, actually, more like Fear. I prefer Fear 2, actually. But Fear 3 was still pretty good. Um, yeah, for me, it's going to be S- Skyrim, Portal 2, and Dark Souls. Halo Anniversary came out that year as well. Ooh, First Halo. Yeah. Ooh. Infamous 2 also came out that year. Um, Killzone 3 came out that year LA Noir came out that year Um, that game has a full cult following what LA LA Noir oh Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword came out that year I didn't play it I didn't play it I don't think I've played any of them 
The I've only played Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Oh, have you, did you guys ever play Resistance Three? Yeah, that was yeah, fun. I love, love that game. That was so a good. fun game. I had a mate that we used to play with, and we just um, you finish the games, so you get given. I think you, you unlock the unlimited ammo, and you're just using all the weird gun, like the guns that. Like I remember, there's a mission where you had to like go through on a boat, and we had that gun where the self knit fire just dropped down a shield. So we just <laughs> dropping shields like just nonstop all around us, and we just couldn't die. It was funny as. I remember love watching the what was it like a spike grenade or something. You throw the grenade and pin people to the wall. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! They really need to make a new game of that. The Resistance series was amazing. Assassin's Creed Revelations. Yeah, oh, really Gears of War three one. guys. Gears of War three. In two what two thousand eleven? Yeah. No yeah. joke. That game was the shit. That was an amazing game. That was yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. I love that game. With um. Oh, with the storyline of Dom and stuff like that. Oh, oh. God, poor bastard. Don't, still, still no, don't. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry <laughs> on podcast. Jeez, have you played the recent one? Five. Yeah. No, not yet. I only just got it. We haven't played. I was gonna play through it with oh, the wife. Finished God. it yet? God, get ready for a storyline. Oh, don't. What good? Or everyone saying no shit. I enjoyed it i thought it was not as great as it could have been but yeah. just what happens in it is just like i hate you yeah right it, you've destroyed me yeah oh rayman origins came out in 2011 that's a really good game me and my brother played the shit out of rayman origins I and then we played the sequel the, the new raymans are really good they're really fun because you can slap each other <laughs> you can just like <laughs> slap each other out of the way when you're trying to do stuff it just makes it fun as hell Jesus. Yeah. yeah it's pretty good. I'd probably say Portal, Gears 3. Um, Batman Arkham City wasn't bad, but uh, yeah, I don't think... Um, I think Knight was better. Arkham Knight. And probably Uncharted. Probably Uncharted. Yeah, I would say probably Uncharted 3. Uh, I'd probably say Resistance 3. Oh, um, oh, no, guys, no, stop, stop. Infamous 2. Oh, yeah, Infamous 2 is pretty good. Infamous 2 was effing amazing. I played the crap out of that game. Now, dude, dude, even better? What? Duke Nukem Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what man. a piece of shit that turned out to be. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking disappointment. <laughs> We don't oh, talk about that one. You, you brought it up. <laughs> oh, wait. Definitely definitely Dark Souls, Skyrim, yeah, and Souls. Gears 3 for me. 100% for 2011. Fear 3, I reckon, for me as well. See, some most of these games all came out at this year, but like, I don't think I played them that year at all. <laughs> I, played, I definitely played Dark Souls and Skyrim. I, I actually played all three of those in that year. 100%. I think I would have played Gears 3 in that year. Yeah. Because I had uh, Xbox 360 that I jammed all three of those on. Yeah. I've still got that. I've got a, I literally bought the Gears 3... Um, collector's Edition? Yeah, Collector's Edition. With his little, with Xbox. old mate's little medal? So, like, it was the actual Xbox. So when you press the oh. button for the disc to come out, it makes the sounds... From the game. Yeah, right. I see. I got yeah. the collector's edition where it had like um his dad's medal that you actually get like in the um in a little like can not a container. <laughs> well, it is a container, I guess technically, but that's probably not the right word for it. But anyway, you get the <laughs> idea. But anyway, it was sick as. So, Boo-boo. what were yours? I've actually got. Oh yeah, no. I thought I had the box still. I don't. <laughs> what were yours, Charlie? Uh, I would probably go Arkham City. I would probably also go Infamous 2, Resistance 3, Uncharted 3, and there was one other game that was in there. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember what it was. Um, there was one other one. I can't remember. Uh, hang on. I have a list of games in front of me. I'm going to go through, <laughs> <just> go through it. 
Just list everyone. Um, where is it? I don't know. There's the games I could think of at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shall we oh, move Portal on? Oh, Portal 2. Portal 2 on there. Oh, yeah, Portal 2, yeah. Um, onwards to 2012. 2012. 2012. Yeah, let's see what games they got. Uh, Borderlands 2 came out that year. Borderlands, Hell yeah, it did. Borderlands 2 was good. Um... I couldn't play it by myself though. Like it was, I had the most fun playing with like mates, but I don't think I've ever finished that game. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah no yeah. joke. I've like seen, I've, just, I've, I've done. I've probably played the start I've, of it like sixteen times. <laughs> no, I've done. I did a full playthrough. So we did a um, started in the morning and did a full full playthrough during the day. Jesus. Um, me and me and a mate. It was insanity. Yeah. Uh, um, but. Yeah, Diablo three came out. Yeah, Diablo three wasn't too bad. That was Black Ops uh, two. Amazing. Mass Black Effect Ops three. Diablo three. The last good Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Far 3. Cry three. Never played Far Cry three. Oh. I played the old yeah. ones where he had powers. That were cool. <laughs> Black Dragon Ball Z Connect. Remember when the Connect was the thing? Oh. <laughs> we try not to think about it. Pokemon oh. Black and White came out. That was a good Did it? Well, wasn't it two? I thought it was Black and White 2. Yeah. No, sorry. Yeah. Black and White 2. The remake. Yeah, that's that was actually better than the first one. Yeah. The story was pretty good. Oh. Um, Halo 4. Halo 4. That, that was good. I enjoyed playing it at the time. It's hard I enjoyed to playing it though. too until the end. I hated the story at the end. I can't even Particularly remember it's it been that long. It was like a quick time event at the end. It's yeah. like you built up to this massive boss battle and you end up with a quick time event. Like, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, That's, what they the have, fuck? They have that much money, they don't care. Um, they were just like, on. let's half ass the last bit of the story, guys. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Oh. Journey, that was a good game. You ever played Journey? It's a pretty good experience. Yeah, right. Um, Not much to it, but it was visually um, good. I never played it, sorry. Um, Dark Siders two. Anybody ever get into the Dark Siders franchise? Oh, oh, yeah. Yes. I was waiting for that game for so long. Dark Siders two. I lo- absolutely love the first one. Probably, probably not as long as you were waiting between two and three. Yeah. <laughs> My <laughs> God. Still a really good game though. I'm I'm still surprised. But then they brought out like Genesis. Um, was the like like the introduction to um old mate Strife. Strife was who I was waiting for. I was waiting for his own game, and he came out as like a little top down bloody top down shooter. And I was like, nah. sorry, mate. Hmm. Kitty Ghost Uprising came out that year, which that's that must be at the start of the 3DS era. Oh, so Mitch, I that was a launch. Mitch, that I got- was a launch start, I think. What's up, bud? I got your game right here, NBA oh, yeah? 2K13. Nah, <laughs> I don't actually play those games. In 2012, apparently. <laughs> What's coming out just um, the the year? Kingdoms of Amala Reckoning came out then. I don't know. What that I remember means. playing that game because uh, if you played that game, they give you a special suit for Mass Effect Three. Oh right. Still seeing yeah, a lot a of Mass cool Effect stuff. Thing. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Yeah, it had a big, pretty tie-in event. If you played Kingdoms of Amala Reckoning the beta, they unlocked it unlocked a special suit for Mass Effect Three. Yeah, right. <laughs> That, they, oh, it was a born of uh, Forza Horizon came out that year. The first Forza Horizon. Did it? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. I thought that game is like 200 years old. It came out on yeah. the NES, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Lollipop Chainsaw, remember that game? <laughs> no. The cheerleader? No. You don't remember the no. cheerleader in the Skippy suit? Killing zombies and oh, I remember her seeing it around. Was like attached to her. I remember seeing that around and not knowing it, like what that was. Like you, you saw like uh, photos of it. And I was like, "What the hell? What is this game?" Mass Effect Three was my favorite game, probably of the year for that one. Yeah, um, yeah, Mass Effect, Mass Effect Three, um, probably what, Mass for Effect 2012? Three. Twelve. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I'd have to say Borderlands Two and Diablo Three for me. I'd say Mass Effect 3, Halo 4, Darksiders 2. 
PlayStation oh, Dark All Stars. Battle. But I didn't play Dark Siders two in that year. Nah, oh, oh, I'm is just, a is is a good game. We're just talking about games here. Yeah. I didn't play it. Um, I don't think I played that that year either. <laughs> well, I suppose we move on to 2013. Oh, hang on, hang on. Sorry, I forgot about Charlie. <laughs> 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 Skip me entirely. Who's Charlie? <laughs> Who's that guy? I don't know. Uh, Pokemon Conquest was pretty good. Uh, and PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale came out that year. Yes. They were so, fun. That was that was that was cool to see all that um all the PlayStation characters fighting. Yeah. Yeah, it was cool. I think it was Didn't underappreciated. You, you know what I mean? Like everyone just like I think everyone everyone saw it as oh this is just a um, Super Smash Bros ripoff which it was but it didn't mean that it wasn't a sick game you know what I mean it was pretty good yeah yeah I have to admit like people shout on it because it was so similar but at the same time it's like it's still a good game like <laughs> yeah it's, give it a go jeez exactly uh, oh Max Payne three also came out that year I never played any of the Max Payne it seems to me I think I'm saying quite a lot. <laughs> It's like you missed a ton of games then, man. <laughs> ah, I was busy doing other things. And uh, Medal of Honor Warfighter was pretty good too. That's where they tried to bring back Medal of Honor and it kind of fell flat originally, but it was still a pretty good game. Yeah. Medal of Honor. Yeah, Medal of Honor. I remember playing an old game. I can't remember what it was. But buddy, I played the crap out of it. I don't know. That's all I know. Anywho, we're jumping on to 2013, bum, which is bum. also the year the PS... Four and Xbox was announced. Yeah, uh, Xbox One was announced. Yeah, and we got some great games too. We do. We got probably my one of my favorite games for that year was Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Yes, <clears throat> best Assassin's Creed. Best and Assassin's GTA Creed Five as well. No, mate, 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 mate. Last of Us. Last of uh, Us would have to be my top of the top of the list. I'm putting it yeah. in. Yeah, lock me in, Charlie. Last of Us. <laughs> Still going Assassin's Creed Black Flag. It, I'm Bioshock <laughs> Infinite. Bioshock Infinite is up there for me. Yeah, good game. Yeah, really good game. You should really play it. It's really good. <laughs> Aerial battles uh, in the sky. You can grind on rails through the, the whole city. And the story is just like like a mind, <laughs> mind bender. It's pretty good. Ooh. Uh, Starcraft 2, Heart of the Swarm. Good game. Dead Island Riptide. Uh, DMC, that was that soft reboot they did for Devil May Cry. Yeah. Uh, which is pretty good. I, I thought it was good. It, uh, a lot yeah. of people were upset about it, but I thought it was good. I don't even know if I finished uh, it. I must have. Beyond yeah. Two Souls also came out with uh, uh, Ellen Page, well, Elliot Page now. Um, that came out as well. Um, Metro Emperor Last Light for it? the Metro fans. Oh, uh, yeah, Metro Last Light was pretty good. Call of Duty. God of War Ghost. Ascension. What one? Sorry? Yeah. God of War Ascension, which was like a prequel oh, right. to the first God of War. It was a really good game. You should play that as well. See, I missed all the um, the other little like prequels and stuff like that in Ghost of Sparta. I never played any of them. Yeah, and uh, I'm I'm still sticking with my my original choice, like GTA Five. No, it was a good game, but it wasn't the best game. It was. Um, oh, I think he's. Oh, I know. Assassin's Creed I know. Black Flag. Guacamole. That was a good game, actually. I remember. It's perfect for the Vita. <laughs> if you're gonna play that game, play it on the Vita. It's really good. Lego Marvel superheroes. That's the, that's, that's, that's the top tier right there. Um, was, there was one other one. Um, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. That was pretty good. That was a spin-off with Raiden with the sword and you slice things in half. Yeah, and he's in high heels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'd say, yeah, Last of Us. For me, Last of Us, probably the top. Black Flag is also up there. Pretty high, and um, and of course StarCraft. Pokemon X and Y came out that year as well. Yeah, didn't StarCraft come out in the year before? 
no, no, I think 2011 had Wings of Liberty. 2013 was Heart of the Swarm, and I think they've got oh, another. Oh, yeah. It's like the Heart, is, Heart of the Swarm was awesome, actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, what was the I'm, – I'm trying to think of the last one. I can't. It's missing me. Oh, what's the last expansion? Um, oh, gosh, I can't remember. We'll come to it. It'll come up. It'll come up. Yeah. The Mitch's favorite game, Queers and Love at the End of the World. <laughs> <laughs> Gran Turismo 6. There's some pretty solid games. Oh, look, Rise Son of Rome was there. That was the launch title for um for the Xbox One. Yeah, right. And yeah, I remember that, actually. Luigi's Mansion. What? Luigi's Mansion? Luigi's Mansion, apparently, yeah. But well, they came out that year. I thought it came out like way earlier. No, apparently not. <laughs> Unless it's another one. Another game. That, we just mentioned that was a GameCube title. Oh, uh, that was the 3DS title. It was a sequel to Luigi's Mansion. Batman Arkham Origins. That was a good. That was that was a good game as well. That was actually really good. A lot of people shit on that game, but I thought it was really good. Yeah. You, you got to take on Deathstroke and like a whole bunch of other. Yeah, assassins. I like. See, really I love Deathstroke. Deathstroke was cool as, and I I love the way he looked in the game as well. It was very um. It was very appealing to me. But yeah, no, no, I'd say, yeah, I'm sticking with Last of Us and Assassin's Creed, Black Flag. What about you, Charlie? Uh, yeah, I'm going to say probably Last of Us, uh, God of War Ascension, and there was one other one I was looking at. Uh, I would have to say Mitigate Rising Revengeance as well would be up there for me. Yeah, right. I, I love that game. I thought it was good. Yeah, it does have a good um, little cult following. Yeah, that's fair. No, oh, I'm playing one next one as well. I played a lot of that too. Yeah. Yeah, they were also good. Mitch, what's your choices? Oh, well, Heart of the Storm, definitely up there. GTA Five and uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Probably going to be my picks for that year, I think. Nice. Oh, Slender the Arrival came out that year as well. And Slender Man first appeared on the scene. <laughs> Great. Now I'm going to have yeah, nightmares. Cool. <laughs> cool. So we're going to jump forward. We're going to go to 2014. Bum, 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 uh, bum, bum, bum. One year after the final launch of PS4 and Xbox One. It's finally out in the wild and a lot of people have it. So you can see there's a lot more titles this time around. Getting into some good stuff here. Mm, definitely. 2014 oh, probably had uh, Shadow of Mordor, which was it did. probably one of my favorites that year, as well as uh, Dark Souls 2 released that year. So they're, they're probably my my favorites for the year, I think. Titanfall 2. Bayonetta 2. Time for two Titanfall would be up two. there for me. I love that game. Yeah, me too. It, apparently, so did Titanfall and Titanfall Two came out at the same time, or is this like a? No, I think they released Titanfall on PC as well. Because oh no, it would have been at the same time. Yeah, I don't know. That's I don't know. Just... It's strange they released it. Yeah, they're both in the list, and I was like, what? <laughs> the first Destiny game came out. I um. I didn't play that game until after it was basically gone. The first Destiny. I always wanted to, but I never had like the internet connection to play online. I played it from the day it was released, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I actually played the beta and right through to now. Actually, I'm still playing it. Yeah. <laughs> Not Destiny, but I'm playing Destiny 2. Well, that's um, nice. Bayonetta 2 came out. Um, um, Apparently the Master Chief Collection came out then, apparently. Yeah, Master Chief Collection. That's a while ago. Jesus. Wolfenstein, The New Order. I like that game. I really, oh, I I really enjoyed game. it. Yeah. Oh, The Last of Us Left Behind DLC came out that year too. Oh, Left did any of you play good. Sunset Overdrive? Yeah, I did. I love yeah, that I game. It. That was fun as. That was just a enjoyable, incredibly silly game, and I'm surprised it didn't get more, um, more of a like following than what it did. You know what I mean? It just seemed to have kind of fizzle out. Yeah, oh, Hot World New and Tasty came out. That was the remake of uh, Ape's Odyssey. <laughs> I remember playing that on PlayStation One. PT came out that year as well. That was the 
um, the playable teaser for Silent Hill with um, oh, but you, yeah, you, Norman Reedus and that that was on PS4, and then they canned it. Yeah, when you're going like through Konami thing. It was that where you were going through like the little room and you like yeah, you go through the house and you're getting watched and yeah. you find a fetus in the sink. Yeah, I played that. <laughs> uh, I had a um, my old roommate um, actually got the shits with me. Because um, the way that I deal with um, like horror games and stuff like that is that I absolutely like rip the shit out of it and make fun of it. Like as I'm going through, I'm like, what is this? Why is this little whale baby looking thing in the sink? And then he like, mm-hmm. so I wasn't getting scared because I was like trying to, he was getting the shits because he was like making everyone play it to try and like, so they would get scared and crap like that. And I was like, nah. And he got the shits with me. Infamous. <laughs> Infamous Second Son came out as well. That was a launch title for PS4. Yeah. It was a fun game, um, but the main character was a douchebag. It was hard. He was just annoying and whingy, and I'm like, where's Delson Cole? Rowe, I think his name yeah. is Delson Rowe. Like, yeah. Where's Cole? The spray paint Mario stuff Kart was 8. cool. I actually I actually really enjoyed where you had to, like, you turn the controller up on its side and you use the trigger as, like, a spray paint. I love that. Oh, uh, yeah. That was cool as... Uh, Watch Dogs. Like um, uh, Watch Dogs came out. Yeah, I remember the controversy behind that because everyone was like, "Doesn't look anything like the trailer we saw." Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um. Let's see. Now, uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, the remake came out. Where there was a controversy with one of the uh, reviewers calling seven point eight too much water. <laughs> Yeah, um, oh, that's right. Yeah, Ruby and Sapphire are the only Pokemon games I've finished. I think I've played every single one, but I just haven't finished them. <laughs> they were then good. it was Dragon Age Inquisition. Dragon Age Inquisition. That was pretty good, actually. Yeah. yeah, I'm not really into the Dragon Age games, but that was one of the first games that I actually enjoyed. It looks good. I never played it, but I've seen, I've watched people play it, and it looks, it looks quite fun. Holy shit! Smite came out that year. <laughs> oh, uh, Valiant Hearts The Great War that's a fantastic game if you want a really good story driven game and a really cool art style Valiant Hearts is a really good game Valiant Hearts right here and we'll just start in the new order cool um, right here well uh, yeah let's let's get what, what do you, what's, what's Super, your top pick Super Smash Bros for 3DS and Wii U for that year would be a top one yeah uh, Smash Bros is always good Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire was pretty high up there. Oh, Shovel Knight. Holy shit, I love Shovel Knight. <laughs> uh, and Shovel Knight. That'd be your top picks? Uh, yeah, oh, and um, and The Last of Us Left Behind DLC. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'd have to go uh, Shadow of Mordor. Oh, Titanfall 2. Titanfall 2 is up there. I played the crap out of that game when it came through. And probably Second Sun. I played... And, and Sunset Overdrive. I played so uh, much yeah. of that stuff. What about you, Mitch? Uh, Mitch, what's your picks? Hmm, honestly, for that year, I literally probably only played Dark Souls 2. <laughs> Just the whole year. <laughs> really? Literally, <laughs> I spent so long just playing Dark Souls 2 over and over and over and over again. I think I got to 17 plus in Dark Souls 2. So you get to, oh. you get a plus um, when you when you go when you redo the do the game. So I've played it so many times. I still play it. I love that game. <laughs> I forgot about uh, Destiny as well. Destiny would be up there for me as well. The only reason I played Destiny is because of you, Charlie. Because of you, I played Destiny. <laughs> you didn't play Diablo 3, Rebirth of Souls? No. Uh, <laughs> no, I actually didn't buy that. I have, and I, I do like it. Um, God, I don't know. But I didn't buy it until, geez, only a couple of years ago when I got back into Diablo. All right. right. Anyway, we're going to move on to 2015. Uh, Two years into the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 uh, titles. And we got one of the best games. Rocket League. The Witcher 3. Rocket League was pretty good. 
What, they came in 2015? Yeah. Wild Hunt. Yeah. Not a bad game. Freaking I've never awesome. finished it. Tried a couple times now. Yeah, I never finished it. <laughs> I haven't finished it either. I tried to get it. You guys are like freaking I've shocking, I've spent man. more time playing too Gwent much time in that it. game than actually playing the game. Same. Oh, Absolutely. Bloodborne came out in 2015 as well. That was a great game. I could suck it into the fucking Gwent game. Yeah, the Gwent you know was that they amazing. Made, they made Gwent, um, pretty sure, for your phone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they made it on PC as they well. They made their own yeah, game. Maybe, maybe, we should, uh, maybe we should uh, play Gwent, guys. Oh. Play Gwent together. <laughs> You'll end up, I'll smash you. Yeah, you probably will. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost like dead set certain you'd fucking smash me, but I'll, I'll play against you on, on my phone if you want to download it with me. Is it free? We'll do that. Destiny. Yeah, it's free. It, well, it's, it's it's free to play, but it costs to buy packs as per oh. most card games. So they get you. So you'd probably be able to earn points, I assume, to buy packs, but I don't know. I haven't opened it in a long time. So. The best part was going around smashing everybody to get cards. Yeah, so then yeah, you just yeah get to collect your cards. And the person that <laughs> beat you all the time, you come back, you'd be like, hey, kick open the door. Hey, motherfucker. Guess what? I got a new deck. And Time to it. serve you some justice. Yeah. <laughs> um, rightio. What about Batman Arkham Knight? That was probably the best out of them That all. was pretty good. I really like that. The Red Hood skin. I didn't Love get it. into that. Really? Dying yeah. Light. Dying Light. Dying Light was pretty good. Fucking yes. Yes, so I love Dying Light. The parkour and that was so much fun. Did you guys play Bloodborne? No. Oh, okay. no. That was, that was released that year as well. Yeah. I'm not really into the Soul Series kind of games. Yeah, yeah, me neither. Yeah, I know you're not. I, I really am. Like, I love that challenge of them. The best. They got, they've got they gotten easier over time, though, which is saddening. Um, the furthest I got was Sekiro. That's probably the one I, the only one I've played the most of. And even that was just like, I've died to this hero, like to this villain, 34 times, and I still haven't even taken off one of his health bars yet. It's all about, yeah, it's all, yeah. You have to be patient. Yeah. You have to be patient yeah. and you have to be methodical in, like, what you're yeah, doing. You have you to do. look for that. I'm too impulsive. I'm too much, like, smash, 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 smash. <laughs> yeah. So it yeah, didn't no, work out for me. The Soul series and Bloodborne and everything like that, those kind of games, they're all about um, learning uh, the different move sets of different enemies and, yeah. and how you go about killing them and everything like that. But it gets to a point where you, you're so OP, it's just like, I'm just going to rush. Yeah. It's, it's really good watching um, the videos of people that, like, are really good at the game, just like take do this crazy boss with and take yeah, taking any damage and you're like, get out of here. Yeah, well it's actually it's actually there's um there's actually achievements for doing that. Yeah. Like there's certain games, uh certain achievements uh during the Soul series where it's like don't light a bonfire and stuff like that. Yeah. So um, that's pretty cool. Halo five Guardians. I didn't mind it. Um uh, I didn't mm, the biggest it was okay. thing it, that ha- I hated the most about it was it wasn't split screen. Now, me and the wife literally played all the Halos together leading up to this, and it wasn't split screen. <laughs> and I'm like, it, it pissed me off. And I don't think she's even played it. I think I played it and she didn't. I, I, I still, like, I, I ended up playing it anyway because obviously we bought the game. But, yeah, I was I was bloody ropeable when we got home and it's not split screen. I was like, what well, Halo game isn't split screen? What the hell is that? Yeah, but that's that's yeah. that's kind of when it all started happening like that. Like, not many games are split screen these days. Yeah, but come on, Halo. I know they. I know I was, you can uh, you can see why they did it. I'm just surprised that they did. Like, they caved. I got annoyed with that that game mainly because the advertising leading up to that game made it out that you know it was all you know Master Chief's about to get like taken down or yeah or vice versa with this with Agent uh, Lock or whatever. Yeah, I'll make. And then it was like it had nothing to do with fucking Master Chief. Like most of the game you're playing is locked. Yeah, <laughs> and same like, with um. It sounds like what? Same with uh, they brought out like was it like Nightfall? I think it was called the little like C like Halo series that they brought out. Yeah, and I remember up. that. Yeah, Nightfall. That yeah. was such a disappointment. Like Halo would be such a good like series to do, but they just did. They no one's done it right so far, and I don't know why. Ever since Bungie left, it's gone to shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
Was it two four three um, industries? Three four three. Three four three. Yeah. Yep. Oh well. Um, Guitar Hero Live tried to make a resurgence in twenty fifteen, so that came back. Yeah. Guitar Hero. Um, I loved Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero was good. The Order eighteen eighty six came out, which was a pretty good. That movie. was a damn. That was, damn <laughs> that was a good movie. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Finished it like it was like eight hours or whatever, and then they had the nerve just ended on a cliffhanger. And you're like, really? Like I finished this game in one sitting. <laughs> <laughs> you come back. Yeah. Legacy of the Void. There you go. Starcraft Two, 2015. Yeah, that was such good. I still need to finish that. That, that was good. Um, if you want to play that sometime, I'll I'll play through the campaign again. I don't think you can play. Yes, you can. Not together. Pretty sure you can. Don't think Pretty so. Sure it's co-op option. No way. God, it has been a while. Maybe not. I'm not <laughs> sure. I'll, I'll verse you with that RTS and whoop your ass. Probably. Yeah, probably. Uh, Assassin's Creed uh, Syndicate. This... Yeah. This yeah, is nah. where the Assassin's Creed started <laughs> dying, like in a nosedive. Yeah, it was starting to, yeah. Yeah, I Mrs. did not like... game, uh, Life is Feudal came out that year. Oh, <laughs> yes. Such a good game. So buggy when it first released, though. That was like, oh, so painful. <laughs> but uh, Need for Speed also came out in 2015, which was the kind of soft reboot where they went back to the underground kind of roots. Yeah, yeah but it was, it's, uh, yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, I thought it was great. I actually loved it. That's my favorite Need for Speed game since uh, Underground. Yes, well, since Carbon actually. Underground. I like mm. Carbon as well. Carbon was pretty good. All right, well, what would you guys pick as your top games then for 2015? Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> you love your Rainbow yeah, Six Siege. Yeah, that, that's fair enough. I fucking love that game. Yeah, well, Witcher 3 is also pretty decent, but oh, Super Mario Maker is good too. Yeah, I'm, I'm still going to go Bloodborne, uh, The Witcher 3, definitely. Um, geez, what else? Probably the StarCraft expansion. Yeah, always good. I'd probably go Arkham Knight, Dying Light. Um, and yeah, probably StarCraft again. No one? Well, it's oh, a Rise of the Tomb Raider. I'd probably go Rise of the Tomb Raider and Rainbow Six Siege. That'd be my top picks. Yeah, fair enough. 